A Central Florida business is being inundated with phone calls. Normally for business owners, that is a good thing to hear your phone ringing. Yeah, not in this case. So the company's phone number was hijacked by telemarketers. As News 6 investigator Mike DeForest explains, any of us could become victims like this. When you receive a call from a telemarketer or a scammer, a phone number will often appear in your caller ID. But if you try to call that number back, chances are you won't reach the telemarketer. Instead, you may be connected to a completely different business or maybe even someone else's cell phone. Here at Masters Auto Center, the calls have been coming in fast and furious. It was driving us crazy. It was just one constant ring the whole day. They're from Florida, Tennessee, Texas, Ohio, and South Carolina. How many calls do you think? Probably thousands. Thousands? Thousands. But these are not customers trying to schedule a tune-up. Instead, they're people who've received calls from a telemarketer. When their phone rings, the number for the Orange City Auto Repair Shop appears in the caller ID. Then they hear this. Open enrollment for private health insurance is now available at reduced rates. When the recipient tries to call back the telemarketer. We're an auto repair shop in Florida. We didn't call you, but we apologize. They get Masters Auto Center instead. Many have left voicemail messages. Please don't call me back. Don't call me again. I live in Arkansas. Bye. The lines are completely jammed. Meanwhile, Nick Robbins says it's been nearly impossible for his real customers to contact the business. Today is pretty much a loss. Tomorrow's going to be a loss. Um, it's going to hurt us bad. Falsifying caller ID information is known as spoofing. In most cases, it's illegal. There was no fraudulent activity. This Miami-based telemarketer was recently fined $120 million for allegedly spoofing phone numbers. To help stop spoofers, you can download apps like Nomo Robo, which identifies and then blocks fraudulent phone numbers. While that attack is going on, that number is on our blacklist and we're protecting people from getting those robocalls. Nomo Robo has flagged the phone number for Masters Auto Center as being a health insurance scam. By doing so, Fewer people are answering the call, which forces the scammer to abandon the phone number. It gets shut down, the calls can't get out, and they can't make their scams work. So they're just going to keep on changing their numbers. Fortunately, that appears to be happening here. Calls to the auto repair shop are finally slowing down, but Robin worries about the future. Is this going to happen again? Is this happening to other people? Unfortunately, there's not much you can do to prevent your phone number from being spoofed. The good news, these scammers tend to only use the same number for a few days or a few weeks. Mike DeForest, News 6.